Hello! If you're watching this, then welcome to the first monthly TS200 train build, locomotive, and train competition. So, uh, we've done these prior with the GP30s, and maybe with ACF vehicles, but this is going to be the first monthly competition. So, here's the first requirements for the competition. It's got to be a diesel electric locomotive. It can't be a steamer. And by diesel electric, I do not mean steam based turbines of any kind. Second thing, just for now, I hate to discriminate, but just for now, let's keep it to non faced locomotives. There may be a chance in the future where we'll open it up to people with faced locomotives. But for right now, we're looking for more realistic candidates. And trains do not have faces in real life, so. Anyhow, here's how it's going to work. I'm looking for any diesel electric locomotive. Doesn't have to have a cab. Doesn't have to be a traditional unit. It could be a slug. It could be anything creative in those manners. But it has to be similarly realistic. You will be scored in three categories. And I'm going to go over those now. The first category is pretty important to me. Optimization per capita. What that means is, how much detail can you squeeze onto that thing while it's still holding and retaining its excessive optimization characteristics? That's pretty big. As an example, how low of entities, this includes hollows, props, can you put on there while it's still extremely light in the entity department while still holding details, if you know what I mean. This category also includes optimization per E2. So if you have a lot of E2s, I don't want to see... The average E2 utilization per unit for RLC PT2 is about 1,400. That's acceptable. However, if you're going to go above that, you're going to not get as many points. I'd like to see a CPU and OPS utilization as low as possible per unit. And, of course, parenting will count as points in this category as well. Here's the second, here's the second court, uh, thing that you're going to be graded in for the competition. Realism characteristics. As you can see here in the photo, this is an LRI GP38. LRI is a made-up railroad, so there is no one-to-one -one comparison that can be made from this unit. As you can see here, LRI A160. But, if you were to, and you can send in your made-up railroad roasters, that's fine. That's allowable. I will be very lenient on that. But if you do decide to make a Union Pacific unit, let's just use a Union Pacific GP38 or GP30 as an example, of a specific number set... Details to that unit's number must match in coordinations to the unit I am going to be reviewing. To the real thing, of course, you know what I mean? Because if you, the unit, let's say if the unit has marker lights, and I don't see the marker lights there on your unit, or I don't see them in the right position, you'll be docked for points on that. All categories will be scored 1 to 10, obviously. So yes. And then the last category will be driving characteristics. How realistic does it feel? How does it handle? Any, any RLC or any form of propulsion is allowed in this category. It could even be OLC, as long as it's decent in terms of handling and characteristics, I'll, I'll grade you on it. Now to the final thing. How are you going to send these applications in? If you have my Discord, that's great. If not, it's right up here on the screen for you right now. Here's what you're going to do. Send a photo to me of what the unit looks like, preferably a photo in the position that you see here. Then, immediately after the photo, put a description of the unit. As an example, this is a made-up unit, so you're going to tell me LRI A160. If it has a random number generator, you can put the number generated field that it's in. As an example, this unit will spawn... The one you see here will spawn between numbers 100 to 160. So you'll place out on the thing LRI unit 1, 
500 to A160, or you get the idea, A100 to A160. So that's how that works. And simply give me a brief description of the railroad. Is it a made-up railroad, or if it isn't, tell me what it is. That's all I'm asking. Nothing much more from that, and then send me your advanced dupe 2 file. These dupes will remain... These dupes will remain private. You do not have to worry about it. You have my guarantee that it will remain private. However, keep in mind, I will be showing these units on video one by one of me driving them, turning them on, looking at them, getting some wow factors of them, and that's the big thing. Now... I, this isn't its own category, but I figured I should add on to the previous categories I had before. Small details are very critical to me when it comes to optimization. You will get points in all categories if it's done correctly. An example of small details is working locomotive trucks, spotlights, moving fans, working shutters for the radiator. Things like that will get you a lot of points. Small things like slow starting lamps that turn on. When you turn on the lamps, they don't come on right away. They slowly dim up. Or unrealistic things will also get you points for creativity. These are categories that are going to be listed out. And there is going to be a prize reward for this. You will be receiving a limited TS-200 slash LRI livery unit of this GP38 you see here. It will be a private unit. So, keep that in mind. The competition results are to... We are hoping to start receiving on the following dates. Okay, so the competition deadline is Saturday, May 30th, 2020. I want to see them in by then. Otherwise, they're not going to be counted. That is a good week. What is that? That's a good... From right now, today's the 16th, so that's a good week. Literally, week in, I'd say two weeks, for you guys to enter and submit. One submission per viewer is allowed. As If you want to update your submission, please let me know, but don't wait last minute. Again, I really hope to see you guys do this. I'm looking forward to seeing what the best that TS200 has to offer. And I'm very, very honored that you guys have taken the time to play in this server as long as you have and support it for all these years. I would have never have expected this server project to have grown to the level it has. And without the community, the server is nothing. So thank you guys. Give me something to really inspire me. Give me something to uh, work on and really give me a great idea on how to do it. Because I do look for inspiration in all the members of our server. It's an honor to have helped you guys and to have hosted the server for you. And it's an honor for the admins to have worked for our server for so long to have contributed so much. Have a wonderful day, guys, and please stay safe in these quarantine times.